in production analysis today we are going to study the topic of this economies of scale this topic it is particularly related with the again that term that is called the scaling up or the expansion of the business so this economies of scale it is particularly related with that phase of the production when the entrepreneur has a strong wish to expand its business and he is expanding but after a certain point he reaches a that level that when output is increasing but that increase in the output is attached with the increase in the average cost of the business so either that phase will be feasible for the entrepreneur or that will not be feasible for the entrepreneur and here when we have to decide that what are the reasons we have to note certain things that this is not particularly related to one notion that there are the diminishing marginal return to the productive inputs or there is the diminishing marginal productivities of the inputs because when we say the any unit is having diminishing marginal rate of productivity it will have whenever it will be utilized means in the once or the second or the third and if it is particularly having a technical efficient relationship then it will not be possible for the entrepreneur that he is going to increase certain inputs and related to those he is having the diseconomies of scale these diseconomies of scale mostly occur due to certain social reason or the social cost these social costs are very real in the sense that for every human level there is a particular limited capacity for a very huge or the big level of the business might be the entrepreneur that before he was able to handle his business by himself he was more vigilant he was giving his attention but now due to the expansion of the business it is not possible for the producer to have a uh, that vigilant look or the check on his business system and likewise monitoring system it becomes we and whenever there are the more people or the more expansion again there are the certain conflicts arising in the business procedure even they can have certain social cost and even sometimes the people they have reduction in their interest their certain other benefits might be reducing or some other issues that decrease their attention or interest in the business these are certain qualitative parts here and even sometimes when this expansion it includes certain additional cost in the management system so that additional cost of management it requires certain further uh, increase in the cost so overall reduction in the average cost it will have the diseconomies of scale for the producer so when we explain this from again the same table that we have explained in our previous example so we can say this after attaining this minimum efficient level of output when entrepreneur is going to expand beyond this point and now he is having the output increase here but with this increase in output he is having increase in the average total cost in the business so this average total cost in the business it is very much explained through the huge increase in this cost of labor and again this increased cost related to the machinery so whenever there will be increase in the average total cost with the increase in the business volume that will be the diseconomies of scale and when coming to this graph again we can say that this is the third stage or the third aspect that shows that increase in the average total cost with increase in the business and this diseconomies of scale we can say see that whenever there will be average total cost increase with the increase in the output it will start from this point and it can move from here to here or it can prolong for further so when this minimum efficient level of production point 
it will be completed or it will be cut off and then there will be the increase in the average total cost then the phase of diseconomies of scale it will start thank you